Joseph Robinette Biden, who I would love to say is the worst president that we've ever had in my lifetime, but, you know, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and George W. Bush really give him a run for his money. But Joseph Robinette Biden, despite debatably being the worst president of my lifetime, has done a couple decent things. And one of those decent things is kicking the can down the road on student loan repayments. What is a student loan uh, debt? What is that? That is called slavery. That is another word for slavery. You could maybe be a little bit more politically correct and call it indentured servitude. So again, children in our society are groomed from a young age into following the script of society. What do you want to be when you grow up? They ask you when you're five years old, like you fucking have any possible answer to that question. When you're going into high school, 14, 15, they start shoving, what college do you want to go to? Motherfucker, I'm 14. What college do I want to go to? The script. That is force fed to people in society makes them feel pressured to go to colleges and universities where they rack up, you know, hundreds of thousands of student loan debt that they'll eventually be saddled with. There are people I know that are 40 years old, 40 years old and still paying their college loans. That's called slavery, motherfucker. That's called indentured servitude, motherfucker. And the one decent thing Joe Biden has done in his presidency was say, you know what? Let's take a pause on that. Now, just to be clear, the bulk of student loan debt is held by the federal government. The federal government has the authority to default on the loans, to just turn them all to zero. But they don't because they make money. That's right. The federal government profits on slave ownership in the form of student loan debt. They profit off of you. That's why you can see people that take out $80,000 in a student loan and 30 years later, they've paid $200,000 on their student loans and still have $50,000 left. Why? Because interest is a racket. It's a scam. And it's a self-perpetuating feedback loop. You get a little bit in the hole and you're there for life, baby. And the government is profiting off of it. Now again... I say, what was the one decent thing? Well, one of the decent things Joseph Robinette Biden did, it was kicking the can down the road until now. Student loan repayments to restart in October after three-year COVID pause. And why is this? Why is this? It's because... Joseph Robinette Biden is a pussy little bitch. He is a spineless fucking dork who lets Republicans walk all over him, shove him in a locker, shove his face in the toilet bowl and hit the flush because he is a professional loser. Joseph Robinette Biden, the second, is a loser. He's a loser. He's a fucking loser. He is a spineless, little, pussy, motherfucking, beta, male, bitch, boy, asshole, loser. Ten words for you to take home at night. The guy's a fucking loser. So, why is he a loser? He had the option of not dealing with the debt ceiling crisis, right, by utilizing the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution that would have sidestepped the crisis and neutralized it without doing any of this. Instead, he chose to sell you out to Republicans. He sold you out for no reason. 
There were multiple options during the debt ceiling fiasco that no one cares about or pays attention to because what's debt ceiling? Whoa, what's that? Is my favorite TikToker there? If not, I don't care because people don't give a shit about anything. So instead of dealing with Republicans and making a deal, he could have just neutralized the whole issue by saying 14th Amendment says our debt shall not be questioned, therefore fuck you. But he didn't because he's a pussy. And he sold you out. If you have a student loan debt, he sold you out. He sold you down the river for no reason. For no reason. He had no reason to do that. But he did it anyway. Because he's a spineless little fucking twerp. He's a loser. He loses. He's a professional loser. This is what he's been his whole career. He's been a professional loser. For those of you that don't know, there's the story when Joseph Robinette too was the vice president to Barack Obama too. They're both twos, by the way. Did you know Barack Hussein Obama is also a second? He's a junior. Joseph Robinette Biden is also a junior. They're both twos. I don't know. Really weird. But Joseph Robinette Biden went behind the backs of Senate Democratic leadership during the Obama years. Senate Democratic leadership made a deal with Republicans to avert a debt ceiling crisis, very similar to this, to avert a government shutdown. They had a deal that was actually not bad. And then what did, what did Biden do? He went behind their backs, made a deal that was significantly worse. Why? Because he's a professional fucking loser. He's always been a loser. He always will be a loser. He's a professional. It doesn't matter if he can win an election because being a loser is a state of mind. Being a loser is a way that you live life. It's a philosophy that you bring with you in every aspect of your life. And when you're a professional loser, maybe you can win every once in a while. That doesn't change the fact that you're a fucking loser. So let's go. While the Supreme Court weighs whether or not to allow President Biden to cancel hundreds of millions of dollars in federal student loan debt, the U.S. Department of Education has announced a broad timeline for when all borrowers should expect to restart their payments after a three-year pause. People with federal student loan debt should expect interest to kick back in on September 1st and payments to resume in October. So wait a second. The interest payments start accruing before you actually pay for them. So they start the clock on interest ahead of the clock on payments. And you're going to come up with another word besides slavery on this one? I don't think so. I don't think so. The Department of Ed Now, note, by the way, ABC News is just going to do complete laundering of all of this. Like, oh, this is just a thing that has to be done. The Department of Education is expected to issue more concrete timing, blah, blah, blah. Still, advocates for student debt relief say they're concerned by the lack of information released so far and would like to see more specific dates. How about this? Advocates for student loan relief say this is all preventable and he should have just used the 14th Amendment. Fuck you, Joe Biden. You sold us down the river. How about that? That's what advocates for student loan debt. I say this is someone who didn't go to college. I don't have student loans. Okay. I fucking realized that shit was a scam and I said, nope. And I got the fuck out of that. I dropped out of high school, got my GED for fun when I was 16 years old, which by the way, the GED, I mean, so fucking easy. I don't know, like, they claim it's a high school equivalency program, but I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. If, those, if, if you know, if that's high school equivalency, I don't, I don't even know. Our society's in shambles. But, um, I don't have any student loan debt, but you know what? I still want people to not have to deal with it. Why? Because that's some fucked up shit. And I care about fellow people. I want them to have a better life. So what? You fell for the scam. We all fall for certain scams. I've fallen for scams. You've fallen for scams. Why should a scam cause you to be enslaved to the U.S. government for the rest of your life? That's pretty shitty. A scam, by the way, that the government perpetuated. Spreading the word early and often will be particularly important for people who've moved addresses over the last few years, blah, blah, blah. I think there's lots of questions we have that the Department of Education really needs to put out guidelines, blah, blah, blah. The Biden administration previously said the pause of student loan payments would either lift after the Supreme Court, blah, blah, blah. Note, by the way, in this article, are you hearing anything 
about the fact that Joe Biden didn't have to do this is an unforced error right before the general election. He is going to burn his bridge with the young voters right before the general election. Really? When he... Like, Joe Biden had his peak with popularity among young voters when he, again, fought to continue kicking the can down the road on the COVID-19 student loan pause. Um, I believe he had like 60% support among young voters. Now, I didn't fall for that. I mean, I, you know, it was a good move, but that doesn't mean I approve of you, motherfucker. It's going to take a lot more to get my approval, right? But hey, he had 60% support and approval among young voters. That shit's gone. I don't know what it is now. I'd be surprised if it's any, anywhere higher than 40. But I'd be surprised if when people, when they get their email, because, you know, kids, young people, they're fucking dumb. They don't pay attention to politics. They don't know about this shit because they're fucking stupid. They're too obsessed with TikTok and their fucking smartphones and their stupid ass fucking garbage to fucking give a shit about their own fucking personal finances and what the government is doing to screw them over because they're good little drones. They're the perfect kind of slave, the one who doesn't ask too many fucking questions. But again, once they find out, once they get that message, that pop-up on their cell phone while they're scrolling through TikTok, oh, I got to pay my student loans back. Man, I'd be shocked if this guy gets 20% support and approval among young people. Jesus. And it's all for nothing. It's all for nothing. Critics. Finally, we're getting some truth here, it seems. Critics of Biden's student loan cancellation plan have countered that it is beyond his authority as president and unfair to other borrowers who paid off their own loans. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Now we're getting the right wing criticism. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we going to get a left wing criticism? No. OK, so they just snub out all left wing criticism. But they give us the right wing criticism. Left wing critics, sorry. You're censored. You don't get any spot in the article. Oh, you're a right winger? Have at it. Again, I don't even know. It's a bunch of shit and fuck. That I do know. <laughs> 